boys and girls from grade 5. Welcome to a new episode 2 from our unit 3, Weather and Climate. This is Nofal Gattan and today we will learn a new vocabulary and reading comprehension. Let's check our previous homework. You had a homework on your pupil's book, page 43. Read the story and complete the story map below. Let's check our answers together. Characters. Salih. Hissa. Mom. Paramedics. Place. Family's house, backyard. The title. Emergency service. The problem. The wind began to blow. Then their mother fainted. The solution? Saleh called 112 and the paramedics helped their mother. Now, let's move on to the next part, the new vocabulary. Take a close look at the picture. Climate. 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 Repeat the word, please. Climate. Climate is a noun. The climate in the Arabian Gulf is hot in summer and cold in winter. Climate. Forecast. Forecast. Take a look at the picture. Forecast. Forecast is a noun. It's a calculation or estimate of future events, especially coming weather. Forecast. The weather is going to be fine and dry according to the weather forecast. Snowstorm. 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 Repeat the word. Snowstorm. It's a noun. There isn't a snowstorm in Kuwait. There isn't a snowstorm in Kuwait. Put on. Put on. Put on. Take a close look at this picture. Put on. In winter, you should put on heavy clothes. Turn on. Turn on. Turn on. Take a close look at this picture. Turn on. Please, turn on the TV. Turn on the TV. Excellent boys and girls. Department. Department. Department, it's a noun. It's an area of special expertise or responsibility. Department. Repeat the word again. Department. Our school has nine departments. We have math, English, science, religion, arts, Arabic and so on. Department. Mass media. Mass media. Take a look at the picture. Think of the meaning. Mass media. It's a noun. The national musical concert was covered by all mass media in Kuwait. Again the sentence, the national musical concert was covered by all mass media in Kuwait. Mass media, take a close look. Radio stations, TV channels and so on. Predict, predict, predict. Predict is a verb. It means to say what you think will happen next or in the future. Please repeat the word predict. I can't predict if the test is going to be easy. I can't predict if the test is going to be easy. System. System. System here is a noun. It means a way of doing something. System. Repeat the word system. This mobile system is easy to use. Excellent boys and girls. Atmosphere. 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 It's a noun. Can you repeat the word 
atmosphere. It means surrounding environment. Atmosphere. This restaurant has an Indian atmosphere. Agency. 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 It's a noun. It means organization providing a particular service. Agency. Can you repeat the word agency again? Excellent, boys and girls. Sarah works at a travel agency. Now, let's practice together. Choose the correct answer from A, B, C and D. Number one. It is very important to know the weather space. What do you think, boys and girls? Let's go through the options. A. Power. B. Department. C. Service. D. Forecast. Number one again. It is very important to know the weather space. A. Power. B. Department. C. Service. D. Forecast. Excellent. It is very important to know the weather forecast. Question number two. Can you space what will happen in 2030? A. Predict. B. Faint. C. Breathe. D. Clear. Can you space what will happen in 2030? A. Predict. B. Faint. C. Breathe. D. Clear. What do you think, boys and girls? Excellent. Can you predict what will happen in 2030? Now, let's move on to the next part from today's episode. It is the reading comprehension. Tips for reading. Read the text more than once. Read the questions. Read the first sentence of each paragraph. Write your answers in full sentences and clear handwriting. Now, let's read the passage together. Kuwait's meteorological department was built in 1953. It has 27 stations to give information about the weather in Kuwait to the mass media like TVs, radios and other apps. The department works around the clock to predict the weather. It tells people how hot or cold the weather will be for five days, the direction of the wind and the condition of clouds and rains. The department works hard through different systems to study everything about the atmosphere. It provides five-day weather and marine forecast twice a day for improving people's safety. Sailors, pilots and farmers need to know about the weather to plan their activities and duties. Everyone should know about the weather so they can wear the right clothing and won't get hurt in bad or dangerous weather. By calling the free automated telephone service 104, one can get more information about the weather. Now, let's answer the questions, boys and girls, together. Choose the correct answer from A, B, C and D. The best title for this passage is A. Automated Telephone Service B. Meteorological Department C. Different Jobs D. Mass Media What do you think, boys and girls? Excellent! The best title for the passage is Meteorological Department. The underlined phrase around the clock means A. 24 hours B. 27 hours C. 72 hours or D. 5 days I'm going to go back through the passage and I'm going to read this phrase for you. Kuwait Meteorological Department was built in 1953. It has 27 stations to give information about the weather in Kuwait to mass media like TVs, radios and other apps. 
the department works around the clock to predict the weather. What do you think, boys and girls? Excellent. 24 hours. Third question. The underlined word they in line 4 refers to A. Activities B. Duties C. Sailors, pilots and farmers or D. People I'm going back through the passage again and I'm going to read the sentences for you. Marine forecast twice a day for improving the safety of people's lives. Sailors, pilots and farmers need to know about the weather to plan their activities and duties. Everyone should know about the weather so they can wear the right clothing. What do you think, boys and girls? Excellent. The underlined word they in line four refers to sailors, pilots and farmers. All right, boys and girls, now answer the following questions. What does the meteorological department do? Let's go back to the passage and I'm going to read it for you and you have to find your answers. Kuwait Meteorological Department was built in 1953. It has 27 stations to give information about the weather in Kuwait to mass media like TVs, radios and other apps. The department works around the clock to predict the weather. What do you think boys and girls? The answer is already there. Excellent! It gives information about the weather in Kuwait to the mass media. Question number two. Why is it important for people to know about the weather forecast? Why is it important for people to know about the weather forecast? We have to go back to the passage again and read it one more time. Sailors, pilots and farmers need to know about the weather to plan their activities and duties. Everyone should know about the weather so they can wear right clothing and won't get hurt in bad or dangerous weather. So, our answer, they can wear the right clothing and won't get hurt in bad or dangerous weather. All right, boys and girls, you have a homework for today. Go to your pupil's book, page 42, read the email again and complete, as the first one is already done for you. The place is Canada, Characters are Emily, truck driver. Finish this and please do write your answers correctly. All right, boys and girls, we have reached the end of today's episode and we have learned lots of fun things together. We have learned how to use the new vocabulary in meaningful sentences and how to answer the reading comprehension questions correctly. Thank you for watching us for today and we hope to see you soon. Goodbye.